Um, I'm pretty sure drinking lyrium is bad for most people. Actually, lyrium is not as bad. Um, drinking well, unless if it's raw lyrium. Well, actually, that doesn't even make, make sense, drinking. Anyway, uh, broken down distilled whatever lyrium, actually, like, ingesting it, kind of like what the Templars do, it's the long run that it's dangerous. The short run, you can kind of get away with. Blackwell, get a camera, eye, don't you? Jesus. God. Let me look in here. The literal stone. Oh my god, this place is pretty. Sorry. Anything nice to say, Solus? Are you serious? I swear, if it's another Inquisitor that looks like me, I would be so mad. Oh, it's the Rock Wave. Great. Can I at least talk to him? Shoot, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh shit. Okay, rock flails. Okay, um. Lyrium Custers. This is whenever I wish I could just do a top down, a legitimate top down. Oh my god. Okay, and the Guardian. So, I imagine I have to hit these stupid Lyrium Custers. So, let's give that a go. And then. Mm. Nope, that doesn't work. All right, let's kill off one of these. Spam DPS. Uh It's not that effective. Jesus! There we go. Okay, 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 okay. I have to kill the rock flails. So, three. Attack that one. Veil strike that one. Or this one. Go. Alright, kill these. No, 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 no. Uh -oh. Three, Now hit the lyrium clusters. Wait. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. There's one. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Attack that way. Attack this one. And fail strike this. And. Fuck. 
Fudge, 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 fudge. No, 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 no. Okay. What? Really? Okay. Seven. I can't attack this thing? Oh, there. That was just weird. Shoot. Hold on. Is this thing back? Yeah, it is. Okay. So everyone has to put DPS on this one. DPS. 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 Oh my god! Solus! Jesus. What am I gonna do with you? Where's your body? Oh, hell no! Okay, Cole needs to heal up. Oh my god. This is not good! This is not good! Heal, 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 heal. Shit, run, run, run. That's all I can do right now. <laughs> Black wall, you piece of shit! Oh my god. Okay. Heal yourself. Does he have barriers on? No, he doesn't. All right, let's get Cole up. Where's Cole's body? Where's Cole's body? Where's Cole's body? Where's Cole's body? There it is. I should have just res Solus and. Oh my god. Button. Are you serious right now? Alright, he has full. I can get this, no problem. There we go. Oh, sweet! That's a full res. Okay. We're good. Um, Drop this here. Oh my god, so much micromanagement. Um, flail it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does he have bears? No, he doesn't. Um, seven. Lunch and slash over that one. I don't know if this is redeemable. Keep moving. Alright, so move here. Oh my god, this is where dumb AI comes into play! Holy shit! Who's dying? Solaces, of course. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my god, Cole's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop! 
Remind me to rewind that. Remind me to rewind that. I am. Um, it's all right. It looked like you were hit by raw lyrium during the battle. Yes, it should have poisoned me, but I feel fine. Good, even. You said the song was too loud. It was hurting you. It was chaos. The rhythm I followed here, but magnified, overwhelming. But it is gone. You almost killed me. What happens the next time you lash out? I am in control. I would never harm you, Inquisitor. You cast some kind of spell. That shouldn't be possible. It wasn't a spell. It was an accident. Everything will be fine. We should get help. You may be injured, or... I feel better than I ever have. Stronger, more alive. The stone is silent. The rhythm has faded. And so have the tremors. But the song still echoes. It tells me things. The breach. That's what disturbed the Titan. It is calm now that it has a connection with one of its children. With me. Okay, let, let me draw attention to what Dagna said, and the method that she felt taller, more alive, whenever she dealt with that, uh, thing earlier. <laughs> Dude, look at Solus. Look at Solus. He's just like... But anyway. Something... I don't know. There's nothing... Okay. It's not inherently back. bad. Bad. Let's talk to her first and we'll see how things go. Was that the Titan? Did we kill it? The Titan lives. This was an echo. A guardian. But you silenced it. Is this what happened at the Tide, where you found Paragon Garal's book? Aye, but I do not know what disturbed the Titan then. The song may tell me, in time. You said you were a child of the Stone, not a child of the Titans. I am not certain what I am, but the Titan recognized me, like a parent hearing its child's voice. Ooh, hey! I have a specific decision here. You were able to calm the Titan, but what happens next time? Titans do not stir easily. It has been a thousand years. Isana, it's our word for Lyrium, and we are taught that it is a gift from the stone. There's so much more to it than we ever imagined. I was sent to the deep roads to recover lost history. This is only the beginning. I am staying here. The Shah Ritol killed Lieutenant Wren, and they're still down here. Aren't you afraid? No. I am pure. I can defend myself.
I'm sorry, but this is hella stink right here. And if you want to know what kind of stink, it starts with C and rhymes with Riffinus. The Titan is only the beginning. What else could there be? The deep roads are filled with wonders. Answers to questions we haven't thought to ask. If you stay here, where will you live? What will you eat? I have my stone sense, and now so much more. I'll be safe. I'm gonna say number one. Inquisition needs you. Nope. You think you understand what's happened to you, but you could be wrong. Valyrium could be turning you into a Shabratal. Or worse. The Shabratal turned themselves into monsters. I have changed because the Titan willed it. The mines collapse, Ren's death. It all happened to bring me here. But who could she harm down here besides herself? She's singing, sighing, slipping through the silence. She can heal here. I am called to the Search Inquisitor. This is where I belong. I'm leaving with more questions than answers. But that doesn't mean you have to. Just be careful. Solas, why don't you have anything to say? Wait. The Shaper and Orzammar will want to know what happened to you. Tell them the truth. You don't know. Let's go. Always comes back. Pay up, Saroka. Okay, let's go through the codices. But before I do anything like that, let me just say... Okay. Uh, and I just realized I'm, like, screaming because I have my earphones and I can't hear it myself. Corypheus isn't himself. A long time ago, he was named Cepheus. Then he became Corypheus because he owned up to that name whenever he de him and the others decided to breach the Golden Gates. The Corypheus we know now is not Cepheus. The Corypheus we knew during Dragon Age 2 was Cepheus. This girl. Was it Volta? She is so, 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 coming back. She's so coming back. The idea of Titans is going to come back. But my fear now, so I'm glad I brought Cole because in order to make sure that, you know, she wasn't, you know, removed from herself is that Cole said that she would heal there, which is the good thing. I needed him to be there because he knows.
Skyhold. How did you find it? Seriously? Seriously. Seriously, Blackwall? I'm in like a moment of like recollection here and you decide to interrupt. Oh my god. In any case. That girl is not who she is anymore. The Titan's going to overwhelm her. We're going to see her again. And it's going to be in a different thing. Different shape, different mindset. <sighs> and whether if it's a good or bad thing, we'll see. Black hole. <laughs> uh, she is more indoctrinated than Shepard in Mass Effect 3. She is not coming back just another DLC filler. No, dude. No. The fact that she... The fact that it had to deal with Titans, where we have been hint we were hinted at it during Dragon Age Origins, and we got way more with Dagna in Dragon Age Inquisition. We're gonna see it though. <laughs> How did you find Skyhold though? <laughs> Alright, let's look at the codices before I totally just flip my freaking bridges. <sighs> Is she even in here? Shape Revolta. Let me read this. I regretted that the way that we parted from the moment you left Orzuma, the words I spoke shame the ancestors and our house. Your mother still won't speak to me. Yesterday I passed by a funeral for a legionnaire. I looked in as they tattooed her face. The weight of the ink seemed heavy. In moments she aged 20 years. I know you are not part of the legion, but sometimes I fe it feels like I have lost my daughter all the same. I... Uh, I remember when you were a little girl, you dragged me to the shaper it just to skip down the aisles of books and records. You'd hum softly and run your tiny fingers along the spines of tomes you'd one day study. I still expect to find you there. They tell me the Legion commander with you is one of the best and I shouldn't worry. It may be weak, but I'm not ready to lose you to the stone. Please be careful. <sighs> okay. Um... Can you explain the Corypheus thing, please? I don't know how to describe it any better than that. And I'm not good at describing it without having a script in front of me. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I could. It's just harder um, in mind to articulate it. That's what I meant to say. Where is it? Titans. Herod made an odd discovery in Skyhold's Undercroft, a page of handwritten text torn from Shaper Volta's personal journal. When was she in the freaking Undercroft? Anyway, the Titans are real. I knew in the moment I unearthed that ancient text. Ren scoffed at the words I read. I couldn't blame him, even as I felt the truth settle on me like a warm cloak. Most much of our history has been lost, and the wall of memories goes back only so far. There had to be more of this, more to the story of our people, and I finally found one of those lost chapters. It's impossible to describe in words how truly vast a titan is. The one I met is so large you can only glimpse parts of it. I had wandered inside its body for who knows how long without even realizing it. What? Wait, when was this written? When was this written? This is in Skyhold. What? What? I've heard tales of dragons and giants on the surface, but descriptions of their size do not compare to titans. Its blood now flows through me, and its song fills the gaps in our history. I close my eyes and see glimpses of the world that was before everything changed and the dwarven race broke in two, which is obviously in ref- well, maybe in reference. It should be in reference of Orzammar and Kalsharok. Um, those two separated from each other. This is a codex from the future, apparently! How the hell was she in freaking Skyhold if she's down there? Who knows? Anyway. Something caused the Titans to fall, maybe literally because of the of the deep roots, and the fate of my people fell with them. The Titan wants me to know, no, more than that, it wants me to understand there is a loneliness to its song. Oh my god. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, this will be on YouTube. Um, this whole thing. The Guardian. Wait, is this it? Yeah, it is. Josephine found a torn handwritten journal page tucked into papers on her desk and immediately delivered it to the Inquisitor. The page was obviously written by Shaper Volta, but the, Inquisitor, but the Inquisition's ambassador cannot explain its appearance in Skyhold. Neither can I! All right. I don't remember what most of what happened in the end. Inquisitor Trevelyan fought to stop the earthquakes, and we raced together through a place more beautiful than anything I had ever seen. How it could be the source of all that devastation confused me. It still does. I felt Ren's absence with every step as we ran to the great circle. Immense lyrium veins pulsated, pulsed with life, and their power flowed into the circle. Something grew from it. A towering being born from the stone. Sorry, uh, rose to stop us. It lashed out, the guardian. It lashed out and I fell into a warm light's embrace. She keeps talking about this warm light embrace. She said it in the last codex, codex entry. I thought I was returning to the stone. Perhaps I did. The light receded as I woke in paradise. The guardian lay shattered. The inquisitor stood triumph, triumphant. A victory, but I could not take any joy in it. The guardian had come to defend the titan protect the stone from being weakened it tried to kill the inquisitor but to me it only offered gifts i hope to use them well and someday understand why i was chosen to receive them yeah i'm so inclined to believe it sh it would be a good thing to have her as a companion for the next dragon age considering dwarven mage what in the actual but, I don't know. Please, where has the Titan hidden at in Origins? Maybe I should make a video on this. It'd probably be at, uh, pretty good. It was a very, 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 um, not half-assed, um, quiet reference. I'll make a video on it. It might probably be best. Um... What was the other entry? There was one more, and then we have to do the one that we couldn't find last time. Oh, wait, hold on. Illuvians. No, 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 no. Wait, what the heck? Redlarium. Okay, did I choose all of them? Places. and pre Deep woods. Oh, wait, is there any more on the deep roads? No. Um. The Shah Bratal will be in groups. Thank you very much. Let's go back. Um, wait, it'd be alphabetical, so, alphabetical, Ashley, you know what alphabetical means, god damn it, Shabbatol, a torn page from Shaper Volta's handwritten journal was discovered among trade correspondence delivered to Skyhold this morning, the Inquisitor's courier could not recall how or when he came into a possession, of course, Ren's murderers hide in the shadows, watching me from a safe distance. The Shah Bratol saw the Titan favor me with his gift of shaping stone. I am more powerful than they will ever be. <laughs> they fear me. They love me. They understand I am part of a Titan. They defend, but they don't realize it doesn't need their protection. It never has. Whoever these dwarves once were, whatever motives drove them to remain here, now they are lost. Okay, so the Titan isn't some omniscient being then. If, uh, considering it says whatever motives, and considering the Titan has been feeding her information and the gaps in the story that they mentioned earlier, so it seems like the Titan isn't some omniscient being, so it shouldn't be revered as like some kind of like deity or whatever. It, it's not... It, it doesn't seem spiritual. Let's put it that way. It is organic. Oh man, really? There we go. Um, so, Titans are separated from magic, but they are magic embodied? 
Is that how I want to present it? Anyway, let me let me keep going. I don't sleep anymore, but sometimes I stop to listen. Yesterday, or was it an hour ago? I became aware of a Shabatol who had kept crept close enough to leave an offering, an empty suit of their armor. Did they think I would wear it? Lead them? All their gift did was summon the image of my dead friend as I returned him to the stone. I left the armor where it lay. Tomorrow, no, it was just a moment ago, I enter one of their towers. I sense how rapidly they flee my approach. They think I come to destroy them, but I don't have to get close to do that. I'm just curious to see how they live. Do they live? The tower offers no answers. It is quiet and spare, reminding me of descriptions of the top siders' temples to their gods. Are the towers temples? Fortresses? Both, perhaps. Only one chamber provided anything of interest to me. A domed, circular courtyard held a pool of the titan's blood at its center. Did we pass that at all? Empty suits of armor sat neatly in a circle around the pool. Is this where Shabratol come to be entombed in their metal skins? What smith makes this armor, and where does it come from? My lost kin are hiding something. They have a tag somewhere. I have no interest in finding that citadel of the Shabratol, but another might. <laughs> uh, the Wellspring. That's where you want to go. I would figure it'd be under places. God. Nope. So much lyrium is separated from magic? No, it's... <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. Lyrium is the embodiment of magic, but magic itself, in the matter of the fade... Okay, okay, this is the best way I can put it. The titan is organic. The fade is not organic, it's, ma it's man-made. Elven-made, whatever you want to call it. The crossroads is elven-made. Everything regarding those realms is ma man-made. Oh my god, my head is like turning and spinning right now. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember like everything I know about Dragon Age and it's like pounding at my head right now. Oh my god. Then there's Red Lyrium in the Fade. There is. There's Red Lyrium in the Fade. I honestly think the Fade can be destroyed. The question is, why would you want it destroyed? Let's just conclude that Dragon Age is as confusing as fuck. <laughs> You're right, the Fade was sailed off artificially. Titans are physical. Fade is spiritual. Lyrium is the link between, I think. Well, Lyrium is used in order to physically move within the realms. The question is what is real, which Solus just loves talking about. Oh, wait, is it in here? The Wellspring? No, it's not. God, where's the wellspring? <laughs> I'm so like, I am mentally spent right now. Got it. Here we go. Take care. Wow, that was sounding weird. Take care, Ixiani. In a time that only the stone remembers, there was, let's read this like a story. I wanna do that. In a time that only the stone remembers, there was a tig in the deepest caverns ruled by a wise old king. The riches in the stone had provided well for the tig. Lyrium flowed like water from the ground, gold and jewels sprouted from the walls like mushrooms, and the people wanted for nothing. One day, the king returned to the stone and left behind two sons to vie for his throne. Neither had been named heir, and so he sought to provide, to prove to their father's assembly that he was the best suited to be king. The first son journeyed far and wide across the deep roads, forging alliances with other tigers, and returned home bearing good word, 
word of the goodwill of distant kingdoms and their promises of future friendship. But the assembly was not impressed with words and promises and would not make him heir. So the second son mined the ground for wealth. Every last scrap of lyrium, every nugget of gold he dug up and gifted to the tig. But the assembly, accustomed to abundance, was not impressed. So the second son dug farther and farther into the stone, so far that he broke through to the other side and found the sky. And this he claimed for his tig, and the assembly named him king. But the assembly wanted him to bring back his treasure for the tag. The new king climbed down and down the endless mine until he reached the sky, but try as he might, he could not pull the sky up, nor strike it to the pieces with his axe, pickaxe. The new king mined out more and more earth, trying to carve a path to the sky, and finally he undermined his tag so much that the whole kingdom broke loose and fell far, far into the ground and up into the sky. King, assembly, and Tig were never seen again. Hmm. This sounds hella familiar. <laughs> it sounds really familiar. Also, what was that human uh, settlement that um, the entire kingdom died out and no one knows why there was one specific one it was a human kingdom solace talks about it very briefly like in the moment it was all gone or something like that is this where these lyrium infused dwarves are from maybe is there another world inside thetis we don't know we don't see the thing is that we have to make sure we don't think of of we have to make sure we don't think of Thetis as big as our world. It can easily be bigger. And Thetis is only one country. Berender, thank you very much. That was the one I was thinking about. It, it has, like, that loose kind of, like, thing where it's, like, everything just got ruined. It was buried, Sola said. <laughs> Makes sense. Sounds like the opposite of Arlathan. Now some post-DLC fly camming with the appropriate, right? Oh, you're right. But it's 640. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do the fly camming tomorrow, and I'm gonna call it because it's already six hours. I think it's a good time to to stop it right now. So yeah, Thetis is a continent. Yes, and we don't know. Fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, Thetis is named Thetis because it's the Dragon Age setting. That's literally why it's called Thetis. But yeah. It took six hours. It was actually pretty good. That's like two movies. That's like, this was half the ticket, or half the price of a movie ticket with a date. <laughs> Or I guess a movie ticket. Whatever! You know what I mean? I got my money's worth. This is worth it. And not only that, but I have to speculate like a mother fracker. It, they have a bunch of different schematics. Now I had a lot of fun with it. Go. Completely different environment. This world is full of wonders for those who seek them. This is worth it, dude. This is totally worth it. <laughs> You're welcome, Reaper. I, it took me forever to like get uh, her, uh, her face sliders, but I'm glad I got it out. Um, do you cover the Corpheus thing in a YouTube video? I can. I'm probably going to because I have to make a theory about what's her face. Volta. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I will be playing the Asquisitor tomorrow. AKA, we will be choosing all the really, really mean decisions. Like, everything. Which I have a feeling it's gonna feel like hack on, but I'm really hoping not. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, guys. Much love.